Greetings, friends, and an early Merry Christmas to you. Just wanted to come on video real quick and thank those of you who supported us through finances or prayer for this recent trip to Central America. It was amazing. It was an answer to prayer. God moved in powerful ways. We heard testimonies like the one I'm about to share with you. While we were there, they told us there's a city that had an estimation of about 20 to 30 percent of the population who are were believers before they did the 40 days of love and the leader that had facilitated this he went in there he worked with the leaders he said we raised prayer we were fasting and praying we were praying in the marriages and in the families we were serving the city in different ways they went out and tangibly served their city and then they began to evangelize and share the gospel and he said through the 40 days of love as people came to the Lord and then he continued to work with them even now a year after the 40 days of love he says that there's been a transformation that has taken place and that they're now at a point that they went from 20 to 30 percent of the population to 60 to 70 percent of the population that are now uh, have given their lives to the Lord, attending local churches, and are involved in what God is doing in the city. So I just want to give praise and thanks to God. I can take zero credit for that. God did it. Uh, it's amazing what He's doing. Uh, on this particular trip, we saw God beginning to spread the discipleship training that we offer through, uh, through Panama, through Costa Rica. We are in these four different cities. God identified people that we have now launched a leadership network and as we prayed about it I felt led that we would launch this leadership network for all of Latin America so not just Costa Rica and Panama but we're already hearing people interested in this possible working with us Mexico Honduras uh, Colombia and uh, Venezuela and some other areas all across Latin America so uh, God is doing a mighty work and uh, I've included a link, I'm including a link to the update. I, I did a very detailed update this month. I just wanted you to be aware of some of what God did. So if you haven't taken a look at that yet, there's a link to that on the web page that this video is posted on. I'd encourage you to take a look at that, uh, our latest newsletter update. I want to end by asking you to pray about something. Uh, we haven't actually asked this in quite a long time, but for those of you who are already monthly partners with us, I would ask before the end of the year, if you would pray about continuing to not only give what you've been giving, but to pray about possibly increasing the monthly amount that you're giving by 25, 50 or more a month, whatever the Lord leads, uh, any additional amount would be a blessing. Uh, we set a conservative goal of trying to raise $5,000 a month in additional support. Uh, the reason for it is what we currently have just has not, it's, um, we, we're in need of raising more funds. With the larger doors that God is opening before us, uh, we just need a greater funding base in order to walk through those doors in 2020. Because already we're having cities and nations coming and saying, uh, we want to do this with you in 2020. And so we just need to raise the funding for it. We've already seen some substantial gifts come in even just in the last few weeks. We're already past the 10% of our overall goal as a result of some of those who have chosen to give. And so I wanted to ask if you would pray about that. If you are already a monthly partner to consider increasing the amount that you'll be giving to us on a monthly basis in 2020. If you have never been a monthly partner before, I would ask you to consider joining with us uh, for whatever amount. Any, any amount would be a blessing and will help us towards getting that financial base in place that we are going to be able to be in a solid footing to move into these new open doors that we have coming up um, in places all over the world. So we're so grateful for your partnership, for any prayers you may have prayed for us and ask that you would pray about this. Ask the Lord if he would have you partner with us at a, at a different level for 2020. Thank you so much for taking a moment to watch this video. Pray blessings on you and your family that you have a blessed Christmas season, remembering the real reason why we're having these celebrations 
the amazing love of God that humbled himself to come into a human body, to live on this earth, to die for our sins, and is now resurrected and living forever. What a wonderful God we have to worship and to serve forever. God bless you, and have a wonderful Christmas.